So here we are in the main cockpit. We've got fixed seating here and then another couple of chairs. So fixed Sunseeker table, it's original, it's got the Sunseeker logo and then both sides you've got the gates and you've got your mooring equipment. You've got access to the upper flies from the here or you can go straight through to the saloon. So let's start in the saloon and work our way through the accommodation. So coming in into the main saloon here, you'll see again we've got sofa seating area, we've got a huge music system and also the flat screen TV. So these are all fixed. There's another dinette upstairs for where you eat. It's just, just for socializing and relaxing. So on the left hand side, you'll get through to the galley. Down here, we've got the accommodation and we'll show you in a minute, both sides, we've got telescopic sides. So they go back out and those doors open really wide. So let's go and have a look. Walking in forward from the saloon, you can go straight into the master cabin. So we'll bring you in here so you can have a look. As you can see, massive island berth here, another flat screen TV, a working area, and then just under you there, another seating area. So two seats, removable if you want them to be, and the control panel for the music system. So there's a few of these all around the boat. We walk further on, we can see here, on the starboard side, you've got the heads, And then on the port side here, we've got the walk-in wardrobe. Walking further down, you come further into the ensuite. Bath, this side, his and her sinks with storage. And then behind you, we've got a really luxurious shower. So that's all for the master cabin. Let's go and have a look in the other rooms. So just to show you the layout, we'll look in this cabin shortly, but we've got a twin here, a twin here, and then another twin here and a twin here. And then if we spin you around, there's two double cabins. So down here, we've got six cabins and then we have the owner's cabin above us. This is one of the guest cabins. We have a double berth here, a nice desk here. So a dressing table, if you want to do some work, all of these cabins have en suites. So we'll show you that in a minute. And this is one of my favorite things in these cabins. So you'll see that there isn't a TV here, but if I press this button, You walk through here, you'll go into the ensuite. So, if you have a look in the ensuite, have a look around. We've got the shower, the heads, and then more storage. Coming out of the room, we've just seen exactly the same there. So another double berth there with the ensuite. So behind you, we have four cabins, twin, twin rooms, so two single beds uh, in each one, and each one has the heads. So if we take a quick look in this one, you'll be able to see. Showing you the twin single berths here, bedside table, large mirror, large porthole. On this wall, you've got the TV, and then here you've got the hanging wardrobe. We'll spin you around so you can see the heads. The walk-in shower here, we've got the toilet and then the basin with storage underneath. The other three cabins are exactly the same, so in total down here we have six cabins. Walking up from the accommodation, we're back onto the saloon level and the owner's cabin level. If we go further up, we can get to the dinette and we can also get to the bridge. Here we are in the dining room, so a large table, 
eating, socialising, maybe some meetings. 12 seats all the way around with lots of space. Flat screen TV on the wall, another Bang & Olsen TV and the same stereo system here as well. We also have another cockpit area here. So this is on the different level with the large sliding doors. Around seating area and then the sunbathers on the end. We'll have a look at the inside helm. If we go through this way, you can see there's another service galley here. So you've got your coffee machines, your fridges, and some more sinks. That takes you directly through to the bridge. So this is where the boat is fully controlled from. You've got all the navigation equipment, you've got the security cameras, bow and stern thrusters. This has everything you need. The captain has his own cabin here, so it's nice and secure and private, and then he can come straight to the bridge at any night watch. Before we finish the tour, I'm going to show you the outside areas. So here's the bow, we've got a large seating area here, storage, and then behind you we have the jet ski and also the crane. Another great feature about this 131 is these hydraulic sides. So we have one here and we have one the other side. So as you see, they come down and then there's another railings that go in there to allow people to sit on there, stand on there, and then the two doors that slide to walk straight into the saloon. Finishing up on the top flybridge here, we have the bar, we've got the fridges, we've got the sinks and the bar stools, we've got more fixed seating both sides. And then if we spin you around, you can see the jacuzzi. So a nice centerpiece with the sunbathing in front of it and the best view. There we are, the short tour of this Sunseeker 131 built in 2010.